I am definitely as cold as I look. If I look like I'm freezing, that's because I'm freezing. Had to pull out the big boy coat today because it's cold, y'all. It's like 30 degrees and the weather is supposed to get really, really bad this weekend into next week. So I have a ton of errands that usually I would save for the weekend. But two things. One, I've been trying to do my errands on Friday because if I save them for the weekend, my whole weekend is eaten up by errands. And I don't want to do that. Like, let me just do them on Friday because I'm already at work. I'm already in motion. So let me just keep being in motion and do the errands on Friday. And then secondly, because the weather's supposed to be bad, I'm not trying to leave my house. I'm trying to be snuggled up in the house this weekend. So I'm like, let me pull the camera out because it has been a few days. Y'all saw me make breakfast and that was it. Like I haven't showed my face since. So I'm like, let me pull out this camera y'all and let me um, run my errands with you guys. I do have a few things to do. I gotta return my phone. So your girl got a new iPhone 15 Pro Max. My iPhone 11 was on its last leg, okay? It was on its last leg. I really needed a new phone. So I needed I need to return the iPhone 15 because I'm basically trading it in for a credit. I need to go to the mall because I have to do two returns. I have to return some shoes to Dillard's. I bought a pair of red shoes because, you know, red trend. Y'all, those shoes are so uncomfortable. They feel comfortable, but I walked in them and my feet was burning. It was just, yeah, it was a no for me. So I'm going to return those shoes. Also, I have to go to Pandora because I ordered a charm with the letter D and they sent me a letter P. I mean, I know my last name is Peter, but I ordered a D and I want a D. I want the D, okay? pun not intended anyways i gotta go to uh, pandora to exchange my charm then i have to go to fedex to use their printing services so i created my social media planner it's a planner that i made from scratch last year so i just updated the dates in there so i need to go and basically bind it to make it into a book so we gotta go to fedex and then I gotta go buy me some ginger tea. So the ginger that I like, they sell it at the um, Caribbean market. So I'm gonna stop there and get that. And that is our to-do list. I, I'm kinda considering if I need to get any groceries because I don't want the weather to get bad and I'm like stuck in the house and I don't have groceries, but I feel like I have enough groceries at home. So I don't know. Yeah, I feel like I have enough to do. So yeah, let's just get into it. Hola, hola, hola. So we are doing really good with our errands. I went to the supermarket. Well, it's not really a supermarket. It's actually a restaurant and I got um should I just realized I should have gone to drop off my phone at first because the post office closes early so the post office is closed I'm not gonna be able to do that today and I'm pretty sure they're gonna be closed on Monday because Monday is MLK day so that's gonna have to be done next week I wonder if I could probably drop it off at FedEx or one of those places maybe we'll see because that's where i'm heading now so we got the ginger tea check we returned our shoes to dillers check and actually i got some new shoes at dillard's it doesn't it's girl math i didn't pay for it because i was returning something so that same money i just used to get something it makes sense in my head it's girl math okay what else did we do i exchanged my charm and i added all my charms to my new charm bracelet so do not go in a sulfur pool with your charm bracelet because it will completely ruin your charm bracelet and it doesn't matter how many times they clean it it will be ruined forever so i had to get a new charm bracelet and this is what she's given she's cute so i did that and now all we got to do is go to fedex the sun is like go to fedex bind my what is it called why am i having a brain fart you guys bind my planner maybe drop off my phone if i can and then head home yeah that's it let's go No 
errand run is complete without popping into Target and I really just came for one thing I need a shoe rack so I'm leaning between this one and this one I don't know which one this one is $44 and this one is $50 that one has three shelves this one has two but they both have a, um, a shelf on top which I like I don't know but I need a shoe rack and I'll show you guys for where in my house I am so proud of myself because according to this list I accomplished everything on my to-do list that's crazy I normally don't do that most times I have to carry something over but we returned our phone we returned shoes to Dillard's exchange our charms find our social media planner and we bought ginger tea we also went to Target and we also got some wine so i figured i'd do a little a little grocery haul even though i didn't really get a lot of groceries but i want to show you what i got at the caribbean market which is really a caribbean restaurant that sells groceries but i got instant ginger tea i do have a raw ginger but sometimes i just want to grab a ginger packet to go like bring it to work or something so i really like these these are like my favorite brand and this peppermint you guys this combination this together is the teas of all teas like if i cannot have fresh tea from dominica this together is the next best thing so i really really like this combination they have ginger mint tea in this brand and in that brand but i don't feel like it hit the same like the one that's that comes together mixed up it don't taste the same but these together like when i mm, I love, love, love this tea. I'm definitely a tea girl. And then I got a pack of Ovaltine um, cookies just to have a little snacky snack in the house. And then I also got some salt fish, which is like, they call it Pollock. Which is not the salt fish I'm accustomed to, like the ones that we have in Dominica, but this is what they got. It tastes the same really. So this is what I got. And then I also, this is what I got at the Caribbean store. Then I went to the liquor store, as you guys saw, and I got me some sweet bitch. Excuse my language, but that is the name of it. Like, it's literally called that. And this is my favorite wine of all time, so I had to read up on that. And then let me show you what I got at Dillard's. So, I really needed um, some close toe shoes that i could wear like underneath my jeans in the winter time because i just feel like in the winter i don't really know what to wear on my feet like if i'm not wearing sneakers or i'm not wearing boots then i don't know what to wear and so i saw these and they are very 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 mini heel but that's in right now actually so y'all can't clown me but this is what i got it's a pointy toe sling back little heel underneath some jeans this is really really cute and this is perfect for winter time because it's close to I could wear like some clear or skin color skin color stockings or flesh tone stockings with it and it'll be fine very comfortable which means you know I could wear it all night all day or whatever if I want to like dress up a casual fit Throw these on and they're good you won't even be able to see the heel because it'll be covered under the jeans but yeah so that's what i got at dillard's and then the final thing i want to show you guys is my social media planner this is a planner that i created myself on canva let me actually hold on let me show you guys the one from last year and then this year's own hold on so last year's own this is it it's really beat up like beat up i spilled things on it pages came off because i ripped stuff off but i use this like to the ground it's you see this 
I wrote in there. Like I really, really, really used this. And this definitely helped me to stay on track with my goals. It helped me to track my progress in certain areas like I wrote in here. And so I really wanted to do a brand new one for 2024. So we got a fresh one. She's looking good, okay. So this is what it looks like. I got it binded today at FedEx to make it into a book. But this just says a 2024 con content planner. I started off with a prayer of dedication, which I'm gonna hide. And then I'm gonna have my thought for the month, um, January, and then January goals. And then I have January content ideas, which I've already started writing, writing down on, my tentative posting schedule. And then every week, what I'm gonna be posting for the week. And then we look at the month in review, top accomplishments, how can I make the month better, overall this month and any notes, and then my month in review in terms of like how many videos I posted, how much money I made, all that stuff here. And then we do the same thing for the rest of the month. So this is what the content panel looks like. I really like it. I mean, obviously I made it myself, so I would make it to fit my needs but I really, really like it. So that's pretty much everything. The time is at 7 p.m., y'all. I left work at 3.30, so I'm hungry. I need to go take a shower, unwind, and then have myself some dinner, probably watch a show, and just relax, because it's Friday night, you know. It's the weekend, I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation, so that's what we're gonna get into now. that you didn't even know you had okay for my non-dominican people go pull is basically like when you're missing somebody like a love a lover sweet bitch this wine and Givion, the artist and his music mixed together go pull that you didn't even think you had that you didn't even know you had you feel it you be in the shower thinking about who you want to call and express your love to but really there's nobody to call because you ain't got no go for real but the combination, it just, it does that, okay? <laughs> and I really should not be drinking wine and listening to his music because why do I need to be feeling like I need to be calling somebody? And as I said, there is nobody to call. Ain't nobody to call. But here we are. I do love Givian though, or Jivian. Is his name Jivian or Givian? I don't know. I'm not his name. I'm a person. But I love his music. And the next time he's in Texas, it could be Austin, Dallas, Houston, wherever he's at, I'm going to be there because I love his music so much. I know you guys, that shower was everything. We're about to do some skincare. We're unwinding, okay? It was a long week, a long week, a long work week, and we need this moment to just Usa, I'm already feeling good. I am already feeling good. The wine is starting to do the talking. <laughs> Y'all, life is good. Some days are better than other days, but all in all, life is good. We're making do with what we have. We're making the best out of the, we're, we're doing the best with what we were dealt basically, okay? And if right now you're not in a good place, mentally, physically, just put in the work to heal yourself from the things that no one apologized for. Because you know what? You're the one carrying that heavy burden. And the person that did you dirty, they're living their life and they're fine and they're not worried about you. So why should you carry this heavy burden? 
forgive yourself release yourself from it so you can go on and live life you know because life is too short people literally just be dropping and they're no more the things that they were worried about the bills that wasn't paid they they're no more they can't even worry about it like Ricardo Drew for my Caribbean folks and for those who love soca music Ricardo Drew is a was a young supposedly healthy man here today literally gone within a few hours it's so crazy because I was not a huge fan of his and y'all I'm sorry I didn't mean to get deep with y'all but here we are okay <laughs> here we are here we are in your presence Lift in holy hand. Okay, that's enough. I'm doing my good molecules overnight exfoliating treatment. But Ricardo Drew, seemingly healthy young man, here today, gone tomorrow. And the crazy part about this is this man passed away and he still had Instagram stories up. You know how your Instagram stories expire within 24 hours? He still had Instagram stories up of him about out and about. People who was with him during the last few hours of him being alive, they still had Instagram stories up with him. The man was fine. As far as I know, because obviously I don't I don't have the inside scoop and I don't know this man's health history and I, nor am I interested in knowing that. But this man was fine talking to people, interacting with people. And then the man is just gone. The man is just gone. Do you think if he knew that he was gonna be gone, he would worry about the things that he worried about? He would do the things that he did? Maybe, I don't know. If you know that you were you had this amount of time to live, how would you live differently? And I'm speaking to myself too because I am a worry wart, <laughs> you guys. I be worried about stuff that I do not have any control over that I can't change, but I be worried about it. Like I be worried about my future like am i achieving my goals am i like i just be worried i am i need to i need to stop i need to stop it let's stop it what time is it is it 2 o'clock already no it's 1 34 because it's Sunday and I have a work meeting we don't like that but there's supposed to be inclement weather tomorrow and so whenever they have whenever we have inclement weather obviously we have to like make sure everything is taken care of at the place that I work 
make sure you know people that's supposed to be at work is gonna have a way to get to work through the bad weather so we normally have calls on the weekends for things like that so i do have a call in about 30 minutes but good morning good afternoon wherever you are whenever you're watching this video hope you're doing well i just finished taking down my christmas decorations and i'm feeling good i know it's january 14th and most people already took their decorations down but it's okay it's down now and the house looks a little bare so i'm trying to like move things around a little bit to make it look like you know like what it looked like before it's like when you take the big christmas tree down it just leaves kind of like this vacant spot but yeah uh what do i have to do today i'm gonna meal prep i'm i've been like easing into the new year you guys and i'm like okay i've eased in slowly so now it's like time to make sure i have my stuff prepared for the week ahead of me i'm gonna do some laundry try to iron my clothes and hang it up for the week i also need to show you guys um the shoe rack that i bought we need to put that together so let's just you know let's just hang out today whatever we do we do together yeah okay so i'm in the laundry room and i am doing laundry so sorry about the sound that you hear but this is what i got you guys saw me get it in target i ended up going with the bamboo ish one and that's mainly because i think it'll go with my laundry room a little bit better it'll tie in and i'll show you so let me show you the before the before is like no good you guys i have this rack Ugh. This rack, I have had this rack since college. And literally, it's falling apart, as you can see. The thingies don't stay well. It's not very sturdy. See how see how that just fell apart? And so sometimes I'll come home and the shoes, like these are all my work shoes and my workout shoes, my everyday shoes that I basically use every day. I like to keep them here. And so I needed something that was gonna be better. You see that? This is time to go. So the reason I got the bamboo one is because, see I have this little bamboo hair and then the top of my baskets have this little brown thing. So I felt like that would work the best in here. I did not measure anything. So hopefully it's the perfect size. So yeah, let's build it. upside down this uh, I gotta remove this one no I think I'm gonna have to remove all of it because this yeah yep yeah, I'm gonna have to remove all of it because this should be here these sticks should be flipped oh <laughs> at least now I know what I'm doing so it'll be quick it is what it is, it's okay. together don't tighten the screws until you're done done and so I know I'm gonna just tighten the screws and I put the shoes back on I really like how it fit in this little section right here it's so much neater than what i had and it has like this top 
that I could like throw my keys on or maybe put my work purse when I come from work or put a little bit of the core. But I'm not pressed to try to figure out what to put there right now. We can do that another day. So yeah, happy that's done. Now we're gonna get into meal prepping for the week. snowing in texas you guys now i know this isn't like snow snow when you compare it to up north and canada and denver and all those places that like really really snow but it's what we get in texas and so i'm really happy to be having a snow day i feel like a little kid i really wish like it was a little bit more so i could like actually make like a snowman or snowballs and stuff like that but it is what it is, we'll take what we get. So I'm just outside, I put on my big coat and my scarf that I got for Christmas, which is like such a colorful plush scarf. And I'm just taking some photos and just kind of enjoying being outside. I know when I go in, I'm gonna make some tea because I'm cold, but I like it. As someone who grew up in New York City, I do like the winter sometimes. Uh, when I don't have to shovel the snow <laughs> so this is really really nice again I know it's not a lot but you know we take what we get <laughs> it's cold for change I am about to film a video this is a video that I've had on my list to film for a long time and I really don't know why I haven't done it but today is the day I'm gonna be filming a Pinterest inspired video so I'm gonna be recreating some outfits from Pinterest I've seen people do that before and I stay on Pinterest I'm always on Pinterest trying to find inspiration so I thought it would be cool to recreate this outfits because most of the outfits that I see on Pinterest to be quite honest, it's gonna be white girls, it's gonna be skinny white girls, okay? And I'm neither, I'm not white, I'm not skinny, and so I always have to like 
make the outfit my own and so you know i'm like you know what let me just share that with my audience so hopefully you guys like it by the time you see this vlog more than likely that video would already be up so go check it out i really really hope you like it now these are the outfits i have everything lined up everything ironed and we're about to get into filming i'll see you guys later lovely people so i am done filming my video and of course the living room is a mess because once it's an outfit video just know it's gonna be a mess because there's clothes everywhere shoes everywhere accessories everywhere so i'm going to clean up but i'm i'm kind of hungry i'm probably gonna eat what am i gonna eat for dinner i don't even know i meal prepped yesterday but i meal prepped only for lunch so I need to figure out something for dinner and I need to figure it out quick because I'm hungry and I got about 13 minutes before I get cranky. <laughs> I don't know where I got that calculation from but it's feeling like about 13 minutes before I get cranky so I need to figure out something for dinner really quickly. Maybe I'll figure that out first and then clean up. But I also still need to fold all my laundry, you guys. I did all the laundry and it still needs to be folded and put away. So the agenda for the rest of the night is to make some dinner, clean up the living room from filming, fold my clothes. And you guys, I have a very ambitious thing I want to do. I want to wash my hair and corner it back. But that might not get done. I'm, I'm telling you that might not get done tonight, but my hair is very, very dirty and it's very dry. It needs to be washed. And really washing my hair doesn't take a significant amount of time, but the laziness in me, I don't know if I'll do it tonight. So we'll see. But today will be the last day of this vlog because yeah, it's been a week since I started it. So it's a weekly vlog, right? So yeah, today will be the last day of the vlog. done with laundry oh laundry is the bane of my existence okay i got behind in my laundry and it was probably because i had guests so i had to like wash all the stuff from the guest room and then i think when karis was here she was here for like two weekends so the two weekends she was here we were like out doing things so i wasn't like in my usual routine so i didn't do laundry for two weeks yeah for about two weeks, I didn't do laundry, so it was a lot of clothes. Oh, so much clothes, bedding, sheets, towels. It was just a lot. It was a lot of stuff. And everything is all clear, as you can see. My bed is clean, and I vacuumed my room, and my room is clean. And I really want to wash my hair, you guys. But I, I don't think I'm going to, because... If I wash my hair right now, it's not going to dry, which means I will need to blow dry it. And if I blow dry it tonight, I have to do something with it because I can't go to work with my hair blow dried. Like, that's not a style. I would not I would still end up putting gel on it tomorrow if I blow dried it tonight, which doesn't make sense, right? So tomorrow is Tuesday. Will I wash it tomorrow? Will I just keep it up in a ponytail and wash it on the weekend? That's probably what I'm leaning towards, but my hair is just, it feels dirty and I hate when my hair feels like that. But I don't think I'm gonna wash it tonight. It's, it's just too late. I was thinking about washing, blow drying, and like doing like six, six to eight cornrows going back but like really taking my time and doing them really really neat which i can do but i don't think i have the energy for that tonight 
I just, I don't think it, I don't think so. So, I'm gonna go take a shower and just kind of relax, light a candle. I might bake some cookies. I have like cookie dough that really is not really baking. You just kind of put it on the cook on the baking sheet, put it in the oven for like 15 minutes and the cookies are ready. You don't have to mix anything. It's not like cookies from scratch or anything, but I'm feeling it's so cold outside. Although it's not cold in my house, I just feel like, you know, being cozy. So I think I'm gonna take a shower, light a candle, and then bake me some cookies and probably watch a show before I go to bed that sounds more like it than washing my hair because honestly I did enough today I feel like I worked hard today so yeah we're not gonna wash hair it's decided thanks for thanks for chatting with me I feel like when I'm talking to you guys I could like reason you know like speak speak it out and see what makes sense and washing my hair tonight just doesn't make sense we're gonna go with option B so let's go shower and do all that nighttime routine stuff and then bake cookies. <laughs> believe I even considered washing my hair tonight like that would have been a complete fail but I'm about to watch the last episode of the show that I have been binge watching I randomly found it on Hulu if you have Hulu it's called Good Trouble that show is like it's a nice show but I'm really impressed with how diverse the show is and when I say diverse I don't mean like it's mixed in terms of like race but the topics that they talk about. So they talk about the LGBTQ plus community. They talk about the homeless community. They talk about racism. They talk about um, like families that are mixed families in terms of like adoptions and families who are in foster care. They talk about mental health. They talk about discrimination against the Asian community. I mean, they they literally touch on every single thing that you can talk that you can think about and it doesn't feel fake it doesn't feel forced and it doesn't feel overwhelming like you know sometimes when these shows force diversity it, it just feels uncomfortable it doesn't feel com uncomfortable it feels very like a normal it looks like normal life and i've been enjoying watching it they have five seasons on hulu and i'm on season five the last episode i've been watching it for like the last few months just, you know taking my time falling asleep waking up rewinding the episode but yeah that's pretty much what i've been doing and i'm on the last episode now so i'm going to eat my cookies watch the episode and then go to bed i will i am gonna end the vlog here hope you enjoyed this vlog um this was very different than the last vlog because life is not the same all the time obviously so last vlog was a lot of fun things because Karis was here this vlog was more normal life so you will get a mix here and there but either way i hope you enjoyed it just the same if you made it this far and you're not subscribed go ahead and hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video bye